أعزائي المشاهدين أهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة من برنامجكم الوطني رواد الأعمال كما عودناكم في كل حلقة أن نستضيف رجل أعمال مميز ترنا لكم اليوم السيد غاست سعادة CEO and founder of Seaway Mr. غاست Welcome on board Good morning, thank you We are glad to have you today in our show We would like to introduce yourself We would like you to introduce yourself for our audience Okay uh, my name is uh, Gus Saadeh, I'm Lebanese American. I've been living here in Dubai for 24 years uh, and with this business, Seawake in particular, for 10 years. Uh, Mr. Gus, uh, why did you choose this field? Good question. So, my background is engineering. I studied engineering undergrad in the, uh, in the US uh, and I did my MBA here in Dubai. Uh, and I worked for GE, which is an American, big American company, and I came uh, to Dubai with GE. And about 10 years ago, I had a passion for wakeboarding mm -hmm. and fishing. So I bought a boat uh, for wakeboarding and then a boat for fishing, and I ended up all the weekends taking my friends. So I thought to myself, can I start a business uh, from following my passion? And that's how it all started. Perfect. Uh, Mr. Gus, you said that you have been in Dubai since 24 years. That's so, good. what inspired you to come to Dubai and, let's say, invest your money and time, of course, and effort here in Dubai? Okay, uh, good question. So, I, I was in the US uh, again, uh, I'm not Lebanese. I'm Lebanese. I, met, uh, I met a person one day, Ken Small James. Uh, mm -hmm. oh, James, uh, what's your last name? He said, James Abu Fadir. I said, Oh, Abu Fadir, that's Arab, Arabic. Do you speak any Arabic? He goes, No, my father came, and things like mm -hmm. that. And that. That was one of the things that triggered me. I have two children, Monica and Michael, mm -hmm. come in, their last name is Saadi, and I didn't want them to be in the same situation where they come uh -huh. and someone asks them, Oh, you're Arabic, but you don't speak Arabic. Mm -hmm. That was one of the reasons. And of course, the second reason is, uh, Dubai was a, was a place that was up, coming up and, and uh, even though it was an unknown back then, 24 years ago, for us Arabic, we knew that Dubai was a place, an exciting place that's, that's uh, grown up and uh, hustling and bustling. And so I thought, okay, maybe Dubai was the right place to come and I made the, the move from the US to Dubai. Perfect. Uh, could you tell us more about the services that you provide? Sure, so Seawake uh, Yacht Rental is, uh, so obviously within the title we do uh, a lot of yacht trips, mm -hmm. but we also look after water sports. We were one of the first water sports companies here in Dubai 10 years ago. Uh, we run uh, all the five-star hotels, don't have their own water sports. They, they usually contract mm -hmm. a supplier to do the water sports. Yes. So we do Atlantis and all the Astoria and Bursa Arab and Madini Jumeirah and Four Seasons, Anantara, Zabi Sarai, plus in Fujairah. Mm -hmm. uh, and we do everything from anything that has to do with the sea, from wakeboarding, water skiing, yacht rentals, banana boat, e foil. Today, all the new equipment that's coming in is more on the green side. So instead of being powered by gas, it's powered by electric. Uh -huh. So the, the stand up paddle board that usually normally do now is electric. The surfboard is now electric. So it's called an e foil, it levitates. Uh, we do you know, diving, any type, any type of water sports activities we, we provide. That's great. Of course, here in Dubai, uh, the competition is really high in all the kind of business that uh, you can think about. So, what makes you special than others in this field? Of course. So, first of all, we want to focus on fun. We want to make sure that the guests are always having fun. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, safety is a very important factor. Yes, of course. Uh, we, we are the only ISO certified water sports company in the region uh, and part of the ISO certification of course is about safety and how to treat guests mm -hmm. and how to make sure that uh, they're enjoying their time here in Dubai. Uh, we differentiate ourselves by making sure we have good speakers. I come from a service industry so when I worked for General Electric mm -hmm. I was running a service company and so we learned a lot of the uh, how to be service oriented from GE and I applied all these things that I learned in this American company into our company. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, everything has a difficulty. So what are the difficulties that you faced 
since you have opened this in Dubai? Sure. Uh, well, you know, 10 years ago, again, I was a manager for, for a big company and I made that, I decided to make that switch. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's not easy because you're earning a very good salary, mm -hmm. the company pays for your education, they pay for your transportation, they pay for your accommodation. And I, and I, all the savings that I had from working for, uh, mm -hmm. for GE for all these years, I decided to put it into the business. So you, you you know, the, the difficulties is to make sure that you have enough cash flow because you think that you have enough money, but then you need, to, in order to grow the company, you need to improve on equipment, you need to improve on staff. And if there's no money coming in, you'll be using it from your savings. So that after three, it's usually most companies struggle with the first couple of years. And then once you make it to five years and mm -hmm. you're good. So in this first five years, all the savings that I had was pretty much wiped out. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so the difficulty was, you know, trying to keep children in college, you know, pay for, you know, Dubai is expensive, as you know. So that, uh, that those are the challenges that we have faced if, if you want to start your own business. Mm -hmm. So give us an advice for someone who need or who wants or who is thinking, let's say, who is thinking to invest his money here in the UAE, in Dubai in specific, but he's, let's say he's scared or he's just, uh, He's not uh, pretty much uh, sure to take this step. Yeah. Well, uh, first of all, I think if you look at most of the successful owners, they have one thing in common, mm -hmm. and that's called grit. I don't know how to explain grit, but mm -hmm. grit is a combination of passion and perseverance. Mm -hmm. And you don't, you don't give up, and then you follow, your, you, you have a passion. You stick to it and you... And yeah, in Arabic, it's a combination of passion and passion. The passion and passion. That's really the key to success. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, having, a, having a dream is only a dream unless it becomes a reality. Of course. So basically, follow your passion. And uh, hopefully and don't give up. Don't yeah. give up. Don't take no for answers. Keep on pushing, and then believe in your story, and it will mm -hmm. happen. Perfect. Um, so, Gus, uh, now ten years, and hopefully still going. Uh, we need to know your vision for the next five years. Uh, our vision for the next five years is is moving uh, a bit uh, west towards Saudi. Mm -hmm. Uh, Saudi, this, uh, is, Saudi is trying to be the, the, the next, the Dubai. next Dubai. Uh, so this Dubai is, is, is we would love Dubai, but it's getting a bit saturated. There's a lot of competition. There's uh, yes. uh, <laughs> a lot of businesses coming in, and uh, you know we, we want to move into into Saudi, especially with the new projects coming up with Neom and the Red Sea project, which mm -hmm. are a couple of years away, but we're starting now, so we can get ahead of the curve. That's really great. Hopefully, everything goes. Very well for you and Thank your you. business. You. Uh, Dubai is one of the safest cities in the world, as we mentioned. So tell us, how can this affect the market? How can this affect you as a businessman, especially in your business, which uh, requires uh, uh, pretty much a safe city? Yeah, well, <coughs> I think the, the rulers of the UAE uh, and in Dubai in particular, because we are here, have done an amazing job uh, to mitigate the risks either whether it's the Corona, during Corona, where everyone else is locked down. We had mm -hmm. Mexico and Dubai was the only two places that were still thriving. So they did an amazing job, uh, you know, maintaining all the safety and the regulation to keep things going. And in addition to this, you know, Dubai is one of the safest places to be. And, mm -hmm. and we, everyone takes that for granted. You can be in Europe, you can be in America, but in a lot of places, you know, there's a lot of things that, here in Dubai, it doesn't happen, mm -hmm. and uh, we're very thankful for that. And I hope it continues for the for the future. Of course, Dubai in specific and UAE in general has reached this level of safety and security because of the great vision of the rulers. We would like to thank His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and all the UAE rulers for the great vision. Um, Mr. Gus, it was an honor having you with us in our show today. Hoping all the best for you and your business. In the end of our interview, we would like you to tell us. How can we reach Seaway? Uh, well, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, it was a pleasure to be here with you guys. 
Uh, you can reach Seawakes through the, our Instagram and our Facebook. Uh, we have a hotline number. You please give us a call and we'll be happy to, uh, to make sure that you have a great time when you come to Dubai. Thank you again, Mr. Gus. Here, ladies and gentlemen, we have a special event for this event with our special guest, Mr. Gus. Follow us each Friday and Saturday on your channel. ABC Arabia, you will be happy and in peace.